Uh, so my name is Mateusz Pusz. I'm a C++ trainer, so I do slides for a living. Uh, to make my life even more miserable, I decided to explore uh, CMake Dark Puffs a year ago. And that's how I ended up here on this conference. Uh, how many of you were on my presentation on Monday regarding CMake? Yeah, that's, that's a few. Uh, <laughs> probably, probably you may want to see it later on when it's available on the video. But uh, I was asked by many guys how I do those slides. And I do them with CMake, unfortunately. <laughs> so, yeah. This, these are the questions I hear often, but having more than 1,000 slides and did PowerPoint previously, I, yeah, I promised myself I will never do it again. So this is how my lectures or workshops are organized. I have more than 1,000 slides right now. I have many, they are divided to, to different trainings and to different chapters. So I can split chapters and so on for, for different uh, clients I have. And as you can see here, uh, the trainings not often, not only have the slides there, but also code snippets, and I would like to build them and verify them before the training in the same process. So this is how I came up with this library. Uh, it gives really benefits for large slice decks, for some something small, probably it's not that fine. And yeah, you can build everything with one, one CMake. The content is orthogonal to the presentation layout and style, so you can easily change the styles for different occasions. It's, there is easy reuse of stuff, uh, because you just copy-paste text in Markdown. There is a special option to generate handouts, which, which I will show at the end. And I prefer to write Markdown in MD files than in HTML. That's why I, I created this one. And no, I'm not doing the slides in CMake. I'm using CreamArchGS. And this is basically those two slides from the previous written in Markdown, as you can see. It's pretty easy and it's much, fun, much, much more fun than doing PowerPoint. How to start with this? Download it from my website from GitHub and define your style that you like. This one with pink style of pink is not really the, the best one. I did it especially for this presentation. And yeah, you, can, you may add default language highlighting. You can uh, then write things in Markdown file, aggregate in one CMake project that looks like this. So far, so good. It's typical project that you are using. And then the magic happens. These are the things that are in my library. You can define slides. You can find here things like, like a style, for example. You have seen this laser. It also works fine. If you don't know Remarks you can do stuff like this. This is presentation mode that I often see when I'm doing presentations. And with easy changing of the style things, you can make it look like this, for example. And that's pretty cool if you are handling different companies and yeah, having different occasions for doing slides, like, for example, uh, conference-specific style. This is how we define the engine. You then define styles. Uh, styles can be hierarchical, provide languages for this and add chapters if needed. From chapters you generate one, one big training. And there is, as I promised, there is handout generation. So these are, uh, these are the slides animations on one slide in Remark. And this is special slide marked as exclude handouts. In the result, it will not be visible. So you can have different slides for students than for a teacher during this slide generation. And that's all. If you want to explore this and, and have fun with CMake, download it, use it, it's open source, contribute if you like. Thank you.